Hey, what's going on you guys? It is 12.45, let's show you. It is 12.46 now, and I've been up for about an hour and a half. I went to bed at um, almost six o'clock. Well, I think it was like five something when I actually went to bed this morning. I got caught in the YouTube rabbit hole, but I think it was mostly because I didn't turn off my TV. It's really freaking hot, and I don't feel like making any espresso and going through the trouble. So I'm just gonna do some cold brew most likely, but let's see what we're gonna have. I think I'll go for a big one, but I'll put extra ice just so it feels like a big one. Just measuring this out so I can see how much I'm putting in. Oh, little ounces. See, there's a lot of ice in there. This is not me trying to go dairy free or anything because um, I'm trying to keep my sanity and I enjoy it. And just as long as I don't eat too much cheese, I feel like I'm fine or drink too much cream because sometimes I do that. So I'm going to be putting probably like either 30 grams or 45 grams, so two or three servings. Let's see what looks good. There's 35, let me get a straw. Can you gonna sweep the floor? You gonna be my helper? No. No? That looks good. So we'll call it 35 grams of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna do a squirt of this blend of zero. I've been trying lots of different sweeteners, and my favorite is not even this, it's the actual knockoff brand from Ralph's, the uh, Apriva Liquid Sucralose. I do like that one. I don't care if it's not natural. I do look like a mess this morning, but that's okay. That might improve, no promises. I do switch it up and I'll do like a half a cup of almond milk and a cup of um, cold brew. I do like that when I'm trying to like cut my calories if I have like something like high calorie planned for the day, but I have no plans for today. I think I'm gonna make some bacon. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make some beef jerky. I got a London broil and I threw it in the freezer for a little bit and I sliced it up like relatively thin and then I put some liquid coconut aminos, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, a ton of black pepper and some pink salt and I mushed it all together in my Ziploc bag and I put it in the refrigerator for overnight and I wanna make beef jerky today. I've made it before, it was like super, super good. It's been like a year since I've made it so I wanna make it again. Um, coffee makes me happy. Okay, so this is a very ancient dehydrator. Here's my meat. So I'm going to blot it with a paper towel just to dry it off a little bit and since I don't want to be touching it. I got these um, nitrile gloves. I I was a deli worker for a long ass time, like almost 10 years or so. I can touch anything as long as I have some gloves on. So this is how I did my pieces of meat. Like, not super thin, because it's going to shrink up. Um, I don't want them to be like, like paper. So what I'm doing is just the kind of no. going like that on the paper towel over here on the side. And then I'm going to lay them on my rack. Just like that. I think I did like 30 grams of coconut aminos, if I can remember. Just a dusting of garlic powder and a dusting of onion powder. As much pepper as I could grind until my arm got sore. Because I love pepper. I honestly think since I didn't put so much coconut aminos and liquid to marinate this steak, um, I'm just going to put it on because it's not really seeming like I need to be blotting every single piece. Okay, so I got all the meat layered on here. I think I'm going to go and put some pepper on top of each layer because I thought I put a whole bunch, but it didn't look like enough for me. This is a Mr. Coffee, the food dehydrator. Pretty ancient, but it's going to do the job. It's done it before, so I'm going to put some pepper on and then we'll be set. But like I said, if you guys don't have a food dehydrator, you could do this on the lowest setting in your oven. Uh, you can either hang it with little skewers, or you can put it on one of those baking racks. You know, the little fine grates. Um, that'll work too. On like a cookie sheet, or a few cookie sheets. This is like a great snack to bring to the movies. If you're going hiking. And these are going to get like so much smaller. You guys are going to be like, what the hell? Let's get this beef jerky going. That's going to take all day. <coughs> Lots of people are going to watch you and be like, that dog's mean. You're putting off a bad impression, Maddie. Meals, recipes, and food. And then beef jerky is way up here. Okay, so I divided it into six servings because I figured a quarter pound 
of raw meat per person or per serving basically even though there was uh, a little over um, a pound and a half so just go into edit recipe so I can show you guys how I did it and then I just entered in these ingredients manually so I did the beef top round lean prime raw and then so I did 25 ounces of that since it was a pound and nine ounces and then um, a teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder and six teaspoons which was 30 grams on my scale of the coconut aminos and I didn't count salt or pepper so it's 188 calories per serving 7.4 grams of fat 1.6 grams of carbs minus one dietary fiber so it's 1.5 net carbs per serving and 27 grams of protein but when I start my bacon I'll show you guys because Dan Quibble who's the bacon experiment guy. I watched one of his videos and he showed like three different ways to make bacon. One of them was just laying them flat, the other one was twisting them up, and the other one was folding them half. And folding your bacon in half, oh my gosh. You could fit a whole entire pack of bacon on there perfectly. I'm gonna show you guys how he did it when I put my bacon in the oven because that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't really remember like what temperatures he used, but I like to do 325 for about 45 minutes. So it turns out awesome. I might go a little longer. It really just depends on your oven. Aren't you so cute? Are you my archer? Dun, da, da, da. Oh, stuck it to the floor. Anyway, so it is 2.39. Lots of time left, especially on those ones. Dishes are done. Kitchen's clean. I am working on my coffee still. I am going to throw in some bacon, and while that cooks, I'm going to take a shower. Really? You just have to be by my bacon? Do it again. Woo! It's not quite preheated yet, but I don't care. So I'm just gonna throw it in. It's gonna be cooking for at least 45 minutes anyway. So there it is. What's up, cute stuff? You're so funny. You watching Brave? <gasps> Yay! How cute is this? We went to Santa Monica and we got our picture drawn. How cool is that? So that is me, Ryan. That's Carly, Ryan's oldest. Aurora, Uriah, Adam, and Zachary. They got the boys like perfectly. I was like, whoa, good job, guys. Mm. As soon as one piece is done, I'm gonna take it off and then try it. But I have patience. Okay, so super simple for my tea. I'm just gonna do it on my scale because I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. This is the tea that I made. It is wild berry zinger tea. And what I do is use four tea bags and I fill this up with like as much hot water as possible to like there. And then I steep my tea bags until the water cools down a little bit. And then I'll just top it off the rest of the way with water and store it in my fridge, unsweetened, just so I can do it as I go. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, so 15, okay, maybe a tablespoon, a little over, 20 grams, so let's do that. Usually I do a tablespoon. And this right here is pure sweetener. No, this is Truvia, actually, because I went to Stata Brothers instead of Walmart, so I went and got this instead. So I just put a little bit of that. And yeah, that's it. I just wanted to use the scale to measure out my apple cider vinegar. And this is the apple cider vinegar I've been using. It has the mother, so it's very good. I probably, I like to drink at least three tablespoons of this a day when I am on my game. Tea. I think apple cider vinegar is great in tea because it kind of like gives the acidity like a lemon would. Right, so there's the bacon. I'm gonna put it on a paper towel on a plate and I'm going to drain that grease in a mason jar. Pour it on in there. I keep it in the fridge just because I do have like little pieces of bacon. Check this easy cleanup out, you guys. Ta -da! You want my bacon, don't you? Okay, I'm probably gonna give Aurora a piece, and I think I'm gonna have a piece too. Look at that, so good. Oh, good. I'm gonna have one more after this because it's so good. I don't know what I'm eating, but. I'm eating two pieces of bacon, that's for sure. You want more? Mm -hmm. She already had two pieces, and she wants another one. I share with my baby. I see. You love it? I see. 
We love it. Mmm. Yum yum. Hey guys, it is 5.11. 5.11. I just finished getting ready and Ryan's still sleeping, so I'm just gonna let him sleep and I kinda wanna eat with him. I'm not really sure what we're gonna eat, but I have one of these left. These are my um, fudge sickles, basically. It's um, made with avocado and chocolate, unsweetened baking chocolate, or you can use cocoa powder. I also included one of these inside of it and it makes it like a really nice texture so you can actually bite it. So good. So I'm gonna share this with my daughter and wait for Ryan to wake up. I will go ahead and link the video that I made for this recipe down below. What I did is basically just avocado mousse, but all you have to do is put it in one of these and you know, freeze it. So to make vegetables. And also for that recipe, I didn't add any MCT oil, but go ahead and add this. It makes the calories higher, but it's good fats and it makes the texture great, so. Okay, so I'm going to weigh this out in grams. I have a couple more down here that are a little thicker that I wanted to um, dehydrate just a little bit more. But I'm gonna start peeling it off and putting it on here so I can get the full amount of grams that this weighs out to be. So that way I can figure out the serving because it's six servings. So I just take the total amount of grams divided by six and that's what each serving would weigh. And that pepper, life right there. What do you think, babe? So good? Oh. oh. That's beef jerky. See, I might put this one back in for just a little bit longer because it's kind of squishy. 275 grams, and I'm going to divide that by six. Each serving is about, call 45 grams. That's my kind of serving. So there's 45 grams, one serving, jerky. This is gonna be my snack. I'm not gonna track my apple cider vinegar and that sort of thing. Unless it has calories, I'm not gonna track it. So I got my cream my fudge sickle, bacon, and beef jerky. That's what I've had so far. So I'm at 38 protein, 15 carbs, five net carbs, because there's 10 fiber and 51 fat. I just put Aurora down for a nap, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my dishes right now and then I'm gonna get everything set up because I'm gonna make those cream cheese pancakes and they're so good. Okay, so I am going to make Ryan his pancakes first because he doesn't like banana and I'm gonna put banana extract in my pancakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do it. this in the microwave until it's soft. Gonna add a little bit of liquid stevia. And now I'm gonna separate my four eggs. Okay, I just turned my pan on and I set it on the lowest temperature, but this is a really big burner, so I don't know what you guys wanna do. Maybe set it on medium low, but I'm just getting it warmed up while I beat my whites. First, mix this up. Okay, now for the whites, I'm going to put a little bit of cream of tartar, and this will help the um, whites be more stable, and it kind of makes the bubbles smaller and more dense. So I recommend using this for sure. Like half a teaspoon. Okay, and now I'm going to add his vanilla extract. Plop down some circles. I'll probably do three big ones at a time. And while this is cooking, I'm going to put this mixture in the fridge because I don't want it to get runny because I could tell that the heat in my house is already making it kind of fall. So hopefully these turn out okay. I usually do a couple minutes on each side. You want it to be covered so that it cooks all the way through though. If it's hard to flip, then just wait a little bit longer. And I know, don't use metal on non-stick, but I like this one because it's small and I don't have anything else. So this is what I'm using. Almost ready. That one's not quite ready yet. Let's try to flip this one. Oh, see, it cracked a little bit, but that's okay. It just wasn't ready yet. So I'll give this another minute. I just went ahead and scooped those out and 
scooped some more in. While I'm making his, the rest of his pancakes, I went ahead and put my dinner in my fitness pal, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm gonna have my four eggs, four ounces of cream cheese, three more slices of bacon, a tablespoon of butter all over my pancakes, and I'm gonna have a cold brew coffee because coffee and pancakes is so bomb. This is where I'm sitting at, 80 grams of protein for the day, 21 total carbs, 10 fiber, so that is 11 carbs, 11 net carbs, uh, and 138 grams of fat. Hey, what's up you guys? It is 8.16, and damn, I've been in this kitchen forever. So when I'm finally done, this could take forever. When I'm finally done, I will show you guys my plate, and that's gonna wrap up my full day of eating. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. So I bagged up my beef jerky. Look how much that is, you guys. If you were to buy this somewhere, it would cost so much money. I would buy a dehydrator just for beef jerky because it turned out the bomb. This is what I'm going to have with my pancakes because, damn, it's good. So I have two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and a little over 10 ounces of cold brew coffee. I know it's 8 o'clock at night. I'm probably going to stay up until midnight. I usually stay up until later than that, but we'll see. Mmm. I say those are just about ready to get out of there. <laughs> she wants mom. That's what she wants. Do you want mommy? Damn, you guys, my child does not want me to eat dinner. We pull it out of the microwave. Damn, look at those fluffy pancakes. Look how fluffy! I'm just using a little bit of this sugar-free maple syrup. It has uh, sorbitol and... You know, it's not the best thing in the world. I only put one tablespoon of butter on all these pancakes, but I have two pieces of bacon. And I kind of figured it that way because I wanted to, um, you know, get more protein in to meet pretty much my protein requirement. But look at this. That is so good. Look at that. If you're going to have cream cheese pancakes, and take the time and make them this way because they're so good. Mmm. You always want some, don't you? You know I love you, right? Right? <laughs> Dis. I hope you guys liked this full day of eating. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.